Stan Gibalisco here. I'm going to explain the meaning of the term meter shunt when it comes to electronics and particularly ammeters, microammeters, milliammeters, and any other meter that measures current. When this is the meter and this is the so-called shunt which is a resistor with a value of R in ohms. Any ammeter is theoretically should have zero internal resistance. Any meter designed to measure current should in theory have no resistance in it, but it always does. And the more sensitive the meter is, the higher the internal resistance will be. An ammeter might have only a fraction of an ohm of internal resistance, whereas a microammeter uh, might have, uh, well, it depends upon the design of the meter, but if it's directly designed to measure very small amounts of current, it has to have a very extensive coil with a lot of turns, and that translates into a lot of internal resistance. In any case, if you have a meter designed to measure current and you want to reduce its sensitivity, that is, make the full scale uh, reading uh, take more milliampers, microampers, amperes, or whatever to, to uh, occur to obtain full scale, you need to put a resistance in parallel. And the value R of that resistance will depend on how much you want to decrease the sensitivity of the meter. If the internal meter resistance all by itself is the same as the resistance of this shunt or parallel resistor, then the two, the resistor and the meter, will share the current. So the amount of current actually seen by the meter will go down by 50%. It will be cut in half so that when you get a full-scale reading with the meter all by itself, say 50 microamperes, um, you put uh, the appropriate resistance in parallel with it and you have to measure the internal resistance of this meter with, you guessed it, an ohmmeter. And when, if these two are equal, and this is a 50 uh, microamperes full-scale meter, then the reading on this meter will go up to only half scale or 25 microamperes because this resistance will get the other 25 microamperes and currents in parallel just as resistances in parallel add together. By placing a potentiometer here you can vary the sensitivity of a microammeter such as this and usually that's what uh, multimeters actually do when they're measuring current. They place uh, selectable resistances, uh, switch selectable resistances of predetermined value in series, or pardon me, in parallel with a microammeter. And if you make the resistance small enough, you can cause this microammeter to get only a tiny fraction of the current thereby making it into a milliammeter or even an ammeter. But then again, you have to make sure that the resistance is capable of dissipating the power, the I squared R uh, value, current squared times resistance, should not exceed the wattage rating of the resistor. And that can be problematic if you want to measure high levels of current. But in any case, that's what a meter shunt usually uh, comprises, is a resistor placed in parallel with the meter to reduce its sensitivity in such a way as to allow it to measure larger values of current than it's ordinarily designed to do. A meter shunt, the term of the day, now you know what it means, Stan Gibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.